Apologies if I'm a little congested today. That's because I am. The winter time makes me very congested, but it's it's whatever. Today, I'm gonna be putting out just one video. Usually we do double uploads, but I, I just got back from my uh, from my Christmas trip. So I'm just gonna put out a video because that's all I have time for today. But I wanted to build around Grafi Eye, which is this new prankster Pokemon that we have access to in Gen 9 with uh, this cool new move called Doodle, which is basically just like role play for you and your partner. Um, that means something completely different in a different context. But yeah, uh, if you guys enjoy this thing and play in time, do a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content uh, and answer my comment question of the day. Uh, what do you think are some of the best Grafi Eye partners? Today we'll be using slacking. I want to I want to make sure this is like a thing I can do. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's let's build this team from the ground up. I think that like the only way to use Grafi is going to be like Focus Ash. Uh, and while slacking is like really, really good as like a clear amulet candidate. I'm actually somewhat leading towards not running it because if we look at the usage stats for Pokemon uh, right now, let me take a look at this. Um, there's not a lot of Intimidate. It's like Arcanine at 14% usage and he's not terribly common. That being said, it does make him a little bit more reliable. So I'm going to try to figure something out. Uh, I'm actually tempted to run Life Orb, to be honest, uh, to max out the damage I can get from a whatever my normal stab's gonna be, because I'm pretty certain we're just gonna run, like, just spam move. Just, just spam. Uh, Mega Kick is not accurate enough for me to want to use. Takedown is not accurate enough. We're gonna have to go with Body Slam, like, that's, like, the best middle ground play. Um, but I could also run Terra Blast. The only thing is, Body Slam is just, like, better. I don't know. I, I, I was like, maybe if I want to run like Terra Blast and like have a different Terra type, so I don't have to run more than one move, but I think I want coverage anyways. So yeah, let's go with Body Slam. Maybe I'll have Giga Impact anyways. That could be an option. Uh, as far as like coverage moves. Oh, do I want to go Terra Normal? I might want to go like Terra Ground actually. That wouldn't be terrible. He's got like really good moves, to be honest. Uh, I think Drain Punch is kind of necessary to get bulk up. Oh wait, this could be crazy. This could be crazy. Maybe I do run Clear Amulet if I run like a bulk up set. Bulk up Drain Punch, Slack Off could be decent, and then I like do this. Let's do like max speed. Oh, I'm not even on like the series. Hold on. Let me make sure I can actually use these moves here. All right, so slacking. Uh, I want here. Uh, body Slam. Body Slam. Do you get Drain Punch? So he still gets Drain Punch, bulk up. Do I want Slack Off? I don't know if I want Slack Off. What are like the best special attackers right now? Because I can wall out uh, Mouse Hold after a single bulk up, I'm pretty sure, with this sort of like defensive uh, spread. Not spread, but like defensive thing we got going on. Oh, but then I'm not able to actually hit um, Golden Go, am I? Maybe I don't run Slack Off and I just run like uh, Earthquake as my last move. That isn't bad. That isn't that bad. So we do that uh and i want a decent amount of special defense so let's do like jolly max speed i think jolly max speed uh and let's run a calc i'm probably gonna remain terra normal but i could also go with a terra type that helps me beat golden go a little bit more reliably um huh no i think i see terra normal terra steel isn't bad either but then i lose to garchomp terra grass feels iffy uh, let's just do terra normal let's just max out this damage uh, but let me see what I need to Oko Golden Go at plus one. Oh, as my computer says, hey, you should install this update. I actually powered on my computer for the first time in like a week just now. So it's like giving me so many notifications. All right, Golden Go, Life Orb set uh, versus Slacking. Slacking. Do I want to do Terra Ghost bulk up? Is that like a thing that's going on right now? Maybe I do Terra Ghost. We'll look at it. We'll look at uh, Slacking. Oh, he gets Sucker Punch. Actually, that's kind of cool. Let me see. So Jolly. Max out the speed. I want to be able to take a Make It Rain. Which, it looks like I'm able to with, like, no investment. But let's say he Terrastalizes. I'm not taking it anymore. Let's do this. What's, like, the special defense I need to eat that? That's not that bad. Um, I think I'm going to do this. 76... Uh, at plus one, or let me see, I'm going to run Earthquake, right? So Earthquake at plus one. Never going to Oko. It comes pretty close, though. What if I do run Jolly? What if What if I do run Terra Ground? Ground. 
Get rid of the plus one era. Ah. What if I just, like, get as much in there as I can? I mean, it's a roll. Probably not worth it. All right, uh, let's do this. But what if I want Terra Normal? That's the thing. I think ground's gonna be the best option. Ground hits, um... Armor Rouge, Arcanine, Torkoal, and Gambit, Iranitar. Uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna go Terra Ground. We'll do that. All right. And the minimum I need to live that hit was 76 Special Defense. We'll do that. 76. Do I even need that much investment? Let me see how much my body slams are doing to things. Uh, if I could like one-shot Garchomp at plus one, that'd be a decent benchmark. Body slam. Oh, that isn't even coming close. That isn't even coming close. I, I really overestimated this 160 attack. And I think if I wanted to one-shot things, I would actually have to run Life Orb. Yeah, and like Giga Impact. Yeah, then I'm like one-shotting things, but even then, that's like not particularly worth it. What if I did run Giga Impact, though? I could do that. I mean, I'm mostly going to be clicking like Drain Punch. Let's do it. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. That's a nuke. That's a nuke, though. Uh, what if I don't have the Life Orb? No Life Orb. What does it take to one-shot? That's going to be like max investment. Oh, am I really going to do this? No, that's not worth it. That's not worth it. Uh, but I still think Giga Impact is going to be like a fun move. Do I want to do it? Probably not. Okay, no, let's let's just run. Let's just run Body Slam. Not Body Press, Body Slam. All right. Um, and we'll probably just do this then. Here. Uh, instead of Clear Amulet, maybe we do Leftovers. And we'll get it to like optimal Leftovers recovery at 229. Max that out as much as we can. Yeah, this should work. That should be fine. Uh, I like the set. Refi, we need Doodle. We need to have speed control. So I think I'm going to run Scary Face. No, that's not really worth it. Do you get Light Screen? He doesn't get Light Screen. What moves do you get, bro? Helping Hand could be useful. Knockoff's useful, obviously. Um, how much do I need to use Poison Coverage? There's a decent amount of like Terra Grass mods like Armor Rouge, Meowscarada. Sylveon gets hit by Poison Jab. Sarah Ledge gets hit by Poison Jab. I think I do run it. I think I run Parting Shot. Like Doodle, Poison Jab, Parting Shot. Maybe instead of Focus Sash, we actually run the, uh, the Covert Cloak so I never get faked out. Prankster. And... Is Taunt worth it? Taunt's probably worth it to stop Trick Room. Yeah, I think Taunt's probably worth it. Let me see if there's any other, like, really cool tech, though. Nah, it's probably gonna be Taunt. Okay. So we can't hit Steel types. Let's go. And we'll just do, like, Jolly. Do I want to run Max Attack? I could just run, like, Max HP since he's mostly support, but let's just do Max Attack. Like, it doesn't really matter that much. We always get one move off. All right. For the rest of the team, this is where it this is where things get a little bit difficult. Uh, because I have to make sure I'm not like throwing. Uh, but I also have to make sure I'm building like a, a fun little reliable team. If I have parting shot, I'm actually and also mouse hole doesn't seem that bad. Mouse hole doesn't seem bad, but then I have like double normal types, which isn't inherently like a bad idea. But it's a little iffy. Let me think. If I'm gonna have parting shot, I wanna get something in that's useful. My own Arcanine doesn't seem that bad. Uh, but maybe something that's like immediately offensively threatening could be decent. Let's take a look. Um, I think Indeedee Armor Rouge isn't a bad idea, but that also means that I won't be able to like prankster doodle things. Uh, King Gambit seems pretty okay. I could have like a soft trick room option. Yeah, I think I'm going to go like soft trick room. Because I haven't played that in a while. Uh, also Obama Snow seems good. Yeah, let's go with, like, a soft trick room option. So, like, Obama Snow. Uh, who's gonna be my trick room setter? We could do Gothitel. I really like Gothitel. Like, I'm a big Gothitel fan in this format, to be honest. Mimikyu doesn't seem that bad. Oh. 
Maybe I just do like solo armor rouge. Kiriyama. I'm sort of I'm sort of doubting this now. I'm sort of doubting this now. Maybe we just go offensive. Yeah. Uh I'm trying to think though. Like if I'm gonna run Terra Ground and I'm gonna earthquake things, a levitate mod isn't a bad idea, so we go like Hydragon. Yeah, I think Hydragon's a good idea. Just like Timid. Life Orb probably. Timid Life Orb, uh, we have the option to Terra here, so we'll do Terra Steel. I quite like that set. Uh, and I like Tailwind, Flash Cannon, Draco Meteor, Dark Pulse. Yeah. Um, we're running you, and we have Tailwind. Golden Go wasn't bad. Uh, Golden Go wasn't that bad either. Garchomp's also pretty solid. But if my main Terra target's gonna be slacking, I have to like. I have to, like, uh, second-guess that. Uh, we could do Gardevoir. Like, Scarf Gardevoir isn't bad. Especially since Telepathy's good. It also gives me the option to, like, Trick Room. Even though it's, like, Scarf, like, Trick Room is still, like, not that terrible of an option. Uh, because it lets me just always spam Earthquake and, like, you know. Like, it, it, it it's, it's like, a, a tech option, right? You're not gonna click it most of the time. Alright, so, Dazzling Gleam. Icy Wind. Uh... Psychic, probably. Whoops. Psychic. And... What do I want to do here? Energy Ball, probably. Mystical Fire is also not that bad. I think Mystical Fire is probably the play. Terra type. Uh, probably just going to be like Terra Fairy for extra damage. But Terra Fire also isn't that bad. It lets me beat Hydreigon a little bit easier. Let's do that. Uh, and Scarf. I run Modest. I have to run Timid. Yeah, after Untimid. Levathy. Garchomp. We'll do like standard Sword Stance Terra Ground stuff. I'll just steal that from another team. And then we need like a defensive Pokemon. Otherwise, we're going to get rolled uh, here. We need like a really decent defensive Pokemon. I'm kind of thinking... How do I beat Dozo? I have to have a way to beat Dozo reliably. Uh, Haze is good. But I don't want Murkrow is the only thing. I could do Skelly. I like Skelly quite a bit. Skeledurge is also like a decent Trick Room Pokemon. So I might I might uh, snatch my Skeledurge set. Yeah, let's, uh, let's snatch the Skeledurge set. I think Skeledurge is like very, very spammable here. Do, 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 do. Where are you? There you are. No, that's not the set I use. Here it is. This is gonna be an interesting one. This team is just straight up like I'm gonna I'm gonna bust holes in the team. Let me see if this works though. So they have to respect like a few offensive options here. So I guess my main thing I'm doing here is like they have to respect the uh they have to respect like the Gardevoir Garchomp lead, which could absolutely mess them up. But they also have to respect the Grafai slacking lead, which is even scarier, to be honest. And I do have decent bulk. I do have decent bulk all the way around. Uh, that being said, I kind of want to maybe do this, where I actually don't run, like, a lot of... Uh, I think maybe... Oh, wait, this could be crazy. Do I want to do this? No, I don't want to lose speed ties. I think we'll just go max max. So the team isn't, like, terribly bulky, but, like, slacking and Skeletor Jar, obviously. Um... I don't have a Sash anywhere on the team. I could possibly swap it for Covert Cloak. But I'm, I'm a little bit iffy on that. That being said, we're already 15 minutes into the video. And we've, we've just been team building. So let's let's just get some games. Let me make sure I have everything correct. All right. Unaware. Terra Grass. Uh, rough Skin Terra Ground. Telepathy. Choice Scarf. Wow, only two of my Pokemon have Protect. Oh, wait, no, only one Pokemon has Protect. Oh, wait, this could be bad. Let me think. Do I need Dark Pulse? I probably do. You know what? We're playing Hyper Offense anyways. Let's hit the ladder. Let's just see what we can do. Listen, you saw, you guys saw me build this team. You guys saw me build this team. I just need to get a couple of Ws with it, and I'll be happy. I don't need to, like, win every game. I just want to do something cool. All right, uh, looks like hard Trick Room with, like, out of Trick Room options. Uh, I think here, 
All things considered, my Covert Cloak Rafai doesn't seem that bad. But Scarf Gardevoir also isn't that bad. Ooh, how do I deal with this? The, if, if Trick Room goes up, I'm like, I'm in big trouble. I'm actually in big trouble. So maybe I just like really, really lean into not letting that happen. Oh, wait, this is this is kind of annoying. This is kind of annoying. You know what? Skeledurge feels almost mandatory to not lose. Oh, I might have to adjust my team. <laughs> I think I lose to Heart Trick Room. All right, listen, if we're going to lose game one, we might as well just go for it. We might as well just go for it if we're going to lose game one, you know? All right. For my last Pokemon, I think Garchomp's probably the play. Yep. This is pretty much what I figured. Um, I can't doodle anything, unfortunately. Because of the ability. But I can just go for straight damage with, like, Body Slam. And get in the Skelly. I'm mostly concerned for this guy. Slacking can also eat a hit. Oh, they have 3D models now. I just realized that. All right. Uh, let's go for the Torch Song. And, or actually, maybe I just get rid of Masquerada. Torch Song here. I'm kind of a sitting duck, but I don't necessarily need to switch. I can just take the hit. Yeah, let's just, let's just... Yeah, bulk up. It doesn't really matter. We can eat that. I lose my Citrus Berry. I'm going to be loafing around. This is a guaranteed KO unless it's Sash, which, yeah, it is. Um, they go for Hyper Voice, which is interesting. Next turn. I don't know why. Are they forgetting that Doodle, like, isn't able to be used because of Prankster? I can try to slack off here and just body slam the Meowskarata. I think they're going to double protect. Yeah, that's actually really good because I'm getting a lot of health back here. The only thing is I don't want a Terra. That's the only like downside. Uh, Let me slack off again. And ugh, I don't want to get Grafi Eye in yet. I, I kind of need to get it in for free and I don't want to switch off slacking. And I don't want a Terra here because I'll, I'll lose to like Torkoal. Knockoff doesn't do that much anymore, though. How much did it do the first time? 80%. It's going to be doing 50% less, so it should be doing, uh, like, or not 50% less, because it got a 50% boost, so it's at, like, I, I don't, I don't want to do the math. It's going to do, like, 60, which I'm just barely going to live, but I don't like that. I think because of that, I, like, always go for the Ferrigraph, and I might just have to pull the trigger in Terra. Yeah, just to make sure I don't go down. All right. Decent damage. How do I deal with this? I can go into rough skin Garchomp and try to KO Hariyama. Knockoff shouldn't KO me and listen, I should have stayed I should have stayed my original typing. I should have stayed my original typing, that would have been safer. But hopefully if they just double all right, close combat. I'm gonna go down. They're gonna take some. They're gonna take some rough skin. Uh, I ignore that boost. I just barely live, and I think this KOs. It doesn't. It doesn't KO. However, I can do this now. All right, you ready for this? You ready for this? Uh, I, I'm. I, I don't. I don't know what I do. <laughs> I don't know what I do. I can try this. Uh, Hariyama's guaranteed to go down. I can get in the slacking. And I can try to bulk up. And just go for the KO on the Hariyama. Or no, because I'm going to go down to Ferrigaref, aren't I? How much did that do again? Hyper Voice. Does... With a crit, it does 46. So I'm going to go down. I think I have to... Try this. Oh, I'm totally going to go down. I stay in, unfortunately. Oh, he close combated. Okay. I can live with that. I can live with that. Listen, I can't doodle. I can't doodle, but, um... 
Man, I hate that this guy blocks priority moves. It's so bad. King Gambit's not terrible. L look, I can try to doodle. It's not going to work because it blocks priority moves, right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure it does. If anything, I tr yeah, it blocks all priority moves. I'm going to go down to this, but I can try to bulk up again. Obviously, it's going to fail. Yeah. Cuts out cleave doesn't do that much. Hyper voice does quite a bit. Oh, this is so no, that's a forfeit. Listen, <laughs> game one pulling that not great. I think we almost got out of there, but you know, that, that was a pretty unfortunate game one. Um, This looks a lot like my Dondozo teams that I run, so I should know the way to beat this. Uh, I quite like leading off Grafai and slacking here because they don't have a way to stop it and bulk up slacking even versus Don Dozo, it should be fine because I'm like really, really bulky and I have like reliable recovery. So I can body slam it till it gets paralyzed and then drain punch. The only thing is if it's, um, if it's rest Don Dozo, that could be bad. But they don't have a way of stopping me from going for that. Uh, Skeledurge to check the Sylveon. And I think my last mod may just be Terra Steel Hydragon. Because Terra Steel Hydragon does very well in this matchup. Keep in mind, uh, I actually can't doodle good as gold. All right. A um, little bit of an unfortunate lead, but I am always able to doodle the Arcanine, get an Intimidate back, but I don't want to do that. I can just go into Skeledurge and eat the hit. Do I do that? Hmm. I outspeed both of these guys. I could. I could try to bulk up here, but I'm pretty sure I lose my slacking. That's the downside. You know, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Why not? Intimidate. The double intimidate. Make it rain. Slacking should live. Yep. I bulk up. Let's see if he tries to burn me. Plus combat. We eat that up. Okay, look. We're in a really good spot here. We're in a really good spot here, actually. All things considered, this is pretty decent because I can tear a ground earthquake. And it's going to hurt. We're probably not going to KO, but it's going to come very close. I could also just drain punch and like live. That's another option. Yeah, actually, I think I, I, I drain punch. So I parting shot here. Get in my guy, uh, and I try to drain punch to live the hit because he's at minus one. Last one did 50% though. No, I just go for the KO. Oh, he's scarf. Okay, well, that didn't work at all. <laughs> you, why do you have to be scarf? Why do you have to be scarf? You know what? I should have, I, I should have been able to tell. I should have been able to tell turn one, to be told. That's just an L on my part. All right, let's see. Torch Song, you. Tailwind here. They go Tatsugiri. They're going to just... They're not going to go down Dozo yet. Close combat bounces off of me, more or less. Um, I think they're going to save the Tatsugiri and go into the Don Dozo here, so I could just double. I think I just double. I go for, like, Shadow Ball and Draco Meteor. Or even Dark Pulse will, like, do fine. Oh, interesting. Alright, well, this is gonna KO. Nice. Um, not a bad position, to be honest, because Skeledurge just beats this thing. Uh, and I just go for the Draco Meteor into Shadow Ball, and I, like, always win, I'm pretty sure? No, I Torch Song here, technically. Because I need to beat Tatsugiri when it comes out. I need to make sure I can one-shot it. I could just Shadow Ball. Dark Pulse, we'll go for the flinch, why not? Wave Crash, ignore that. Get my Citrus Berry. I ignore the boost, that's the good part. And now I should win, because I just double. Shadow Ball, Tatsugiri is going to pop out. They don't typically run Protect. Yeah, that was my bad turn one. Just, oh, pfft, they ran Protect. 
they ran protect. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty bad. Uh, but to be honest, I think I'm okay. Let me think. So. They outsped me, right? No, they didn't. Uh, I can try this. I can try to slack off and tailwind. Cause how much did my sh how much did my dark pulse do? Dark pulse did twenty nine. No, I always just attack. I always just double attack. Why are they running protect, man? All right. Um. Yeah, I double attack. Shadow ball, dark pulse. They're gonna earthquake. Uh, yeah, I just barely win as long as I don't whiff this Draco meteor, or as long as they're not scarf Tatsugiri, which they're not because the scarf golden go. I just barely pulled that off. Unless they tear, they could tear technically. I don't think they tear yet. But if anything, I don't know. <laughs> Terra water. Do I still KO? I still KO. Nice. All right, just barely one. GG. Listen, we're gonna get this doodle off. We're gonna do this doodle. We're one one on twenty six minutes into the recording. I gotta get the doodle. Okay, nothing can block the doodle here. That being said, there's a lot of things that just hard check slacking Grafai. Um, I could take Prankster. No, I can't take Prankster because it's dark type, so it gets blocked. Oh yeah, dark types are immune to this Prankster. Oh, that really sucks. That really sucks. I think I might just go for it anyways, to be honest. <laughs> I'm so sick of this. I haven't been able to do it once. Um, Scarf Gardevoir doesn't seem that bad here. Neither, neither does Terra Steel Tailwind Hydreigon. Actually, that seems like great here, to be honest. Um, I don't want to lose my Levitate, I think. So I think I'm just going to go with the Hydreigon and Skeledurge lead. Seems fairly safe. And we do like Garchomp Gardevoir in the back. Yeah, this is fine. I can always just like Torch Song and uh, Dark Pulse to KO the Amoongus. I have to Terra here in case they're first impression. And then next turn I can Tailwind. I can't afford to Tailwind here because then uh, they're going to be able to KO me with something. But Hexterus should probably get walled out. Oh wait, it's Mold Breaker. It's Mold Breaker. I don't think it's going to go for it though. What's your base speed? 163, 165? Yeah, I can outspeed you. Let's do it. Uh, Terra Steel, Dark Pulse, Sh not Shadow Ball, Torch Song. Even if he Earthquakes, I don't think he'll be able to, or I don't even think he Earthquakes here to be honest. Yeah, because he wants to like protect here and like try to go for a Spore, but this sh should just barely KO. Oh, it doesn't. Oh no. Oh no, please put my Skelly to sleep. No! Okay. Listen, that didn't work out for me. That didn't, I can't lie, that didn't work out for me. Uh, but I think I get in my Gardevoir here and I let Hydreigon sleep. Because Gardevoir can take an Earthquake. Skeledurge, questionable. Questionable at best. Go for my Torch Song. Okay, I like this. I like this, I like this. Because I'm still Scarf Gardevoir. I can go for D Gleam here. I outspeed the Hydreigon. I don't outspeed the Haxorus is the only issue. So I think what I do here is I try to degleam, and I go for the Will O Wisp on the Hex. Cause it's good. Yeah, it's gonna tear ground. Do I just? Oh, I go down to that. But he does hit himself. He does hit himself, so that's like fine. Uh, I get in my Garchomp. I think I lose because that Mold Breaker is gonna like sweep me. Yeah, if he's got like a Tailwind Mon, it's over. There's a Moongus. Uh, my Hydreigon slept. He's just gonna Earthquake and protect. I just, I just try it. You know, I just, I just go for it. Why not? Why not? You know, I just go for it. Dragon Claw. No, nah, I lose. All right, GG. I want to get like one good Doodle game, dude. Let me get one good Doodle game because that's the thing. I said in my tier list video that this isn't like a great strat. This is the same guy. I think it's the same guy. Yeah, I said in like my, my video that like uh, where I was ranking things that Doodle isn't a good strat because of how many ways to block it. Uh, and this is a prime example as to why that is. Um, pretty sure we faced this guy before. It's Scarf Golden Ghost. We have to keep that in mind. 
I think I'm just going to keep it up. I think I'm just going to do the same thing again and hope that it, it's different this time. Uh, that's obviously not how you win matches, but let's see. All right. So with the information that we collected from last game, I know that my optimal play is actually going to be to go for the parting shot into the Arcanine and get in my Skelly. Because he's going to go for the make it rain. And my bulk up strat won't work. Actually, no, I just go I just go slacking again. I just go for the slacking again. Because I don't want to take uh, damage on my guy. Did they just... They're not Scarf? Is this a different guy? This is a different guy, isn't it? This is a different guy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not like this. Not like this. Um, I can outspeed and try to call him out. But it's, like, not worth it. You know, I'm willing to sack my Hydreigon to try this. I'm willing to sack it. Uh, and I go for the... I go for the Torch Song onto you. And if Hydreigon somehow lives, the Tailwind's going to win me the game. I have to Terra, don't I, in case he Shadow Balls? No, if he Shadow Balls, he doesn't win then. So I just Torch Song. He does that. Interesting. All right. Uh, well, now I'm fine. Because I outspeed him. I just double attack. Dark Pulse, Torch Song. Yeah. Maybe I just Tailwind. Maybe I do just Tailwind. Nah, I go for the Dark Pulse. Yaskarada. Switches out, that's fine. It's going to do a decent amount. Alright. Um, I can Terra Grass now. Or I can even Terra Steel and I'll be like perfectly fine. I like just beat him. I'll Terra Steel here uh, and I'll go for the Tailwind to make sure I outspeed everything. Because then Slacking can like KO Masquerada. And I can try to slack off here. It's probably going to fail. Because I'm probably going to get KO'd. Yeah, knock off. Should be going for a Hyper Voice. Nice. Okay. Okay. Let me think. Uh, Slack King. Actually, no, I can like Poison Jab KO this guy. Yeah. Uh, I go for the Poison Jab on the Sylveon. And a Flash Cannon on the Masquerada. Pretty sure max attack poison jab will KO so we from this range. It's stab. Not sure about the item on Meowskarada. Probably Sash, but it's worth it's worth risking. Oh, that doesn't KO. That is a fat guy. That is a fat guy. That being said, uh, they should both be within Earthquake range now, so I can finally do it. Do I bulk up here? Is bulk up the play? Because I outspeed everything once the Meowskarada goes down. No, it's not. I just Earthquake. I have to be really careful with this uh, with this Golden Go endgame, though. Uh, that's going to be really scary. Doodle. I could bulk up. Bulk up's so risky, though. Oh my god, it's so risky. I'm not going to risk it. No, I'm, I'm a coward. I'm a coward. I can't risk it. Uh, I'm doing it. No, I'm risking it. Okay. I'm bulking up. All right. Go for the slacking. He can take it. He went for the knockoff. Okay. That's fine. I still got the, uh, I still got the doodle off because it goes, it goes past protect. So now here I spam earthquake. Nice. Okay. Guard. Uh, Arcanine can come in. Arcanine can come in. I still Earthquake. That should KO Meowskarada from this range, even though it's resisted. It's just a matter of, like, how much I take from the Arcanine. No, I go down. I go down. He close combated, didn't he? Yeah. I, oh, Flare Blitz. Okay, GG. Look, this team is so bad. This team's so bad. <laughs> I don't think that Doodle Slacking is the truth. I will be honest, I don't think doodle slacking is the truth, but we have to continue the video. Let's see if I can get a second win. Look, if I win this one, I'll call it and we'll say that it's just like, it's whatever, you know? All right, let me see. They don't have any way of blocking it. Let's just do it. The only thing I have to be careful of is Terra, Terra Normal can like one shot, Terra Normal Extreme Speed can one shot Grafai Eye, which is really bad, but I'm just going to go for it now. Uh, Terra Grass Skeletor is very good in this matchup. 
Scarf Gardevoir seems uh, very reliable as well. All right. Uh, I should be able to trace Drizzle here and just go for a bulk up. Or maybe here, I actually taunt the Pelipper and bulk up because I outspeed both, right? And that prevents Tailwind. Bulk up. Hurricane's going to hurt, but I can eat it. Nice. Um, I can doodle you. Now that I'm at plus one, my, my body slam is going to hurt. The only thing is I'm not Terra Normal. I think here I just go for the body slam on the Pelipper. And doodle. We both get Drizzle. Terra? Hurricane. I'm going to go down. Yeah, all right. Let me think. Can I hold on to slacking here? I think I just go Skeledurge, to be honest. And like Terra Grass Skeledurge can like solo the game. Uh, but I go for the KO on the Hatterene here. Get in Skelly. I hold on to uh I hold on to my guy just in case. Yeah. And the slacking is like bait. And here. They're probably max speed, so they should outspeed me. I, I can't think of a situation where they're not like max speed Pelipper. So I just go for the uh, the body slam onto you, probably fail, and go for the shadow ball onto the Pelipper. I'd be very surprised if they were like slower than me somehow. They are slower than me. That is an insane way to run Pelipper. Wow. <laughs> oh, that could have been really bad. Palafin hero. Uh, I definitely lose my guard here. I can try to go for the Dazzling Gleam play. Terra and go for Shadow Ball on a Palafin because he's the biggest threat. Goes for Jet Punch, one shots me. Dazzling Gleam, I lose this game. I totally lose this game. Yeah, no, I lost it. Look, listen, guys, PSA, I don't think, I, I actually don't think Doodle plus Slacking is the truth. I truly think this is a bad, this is a bad strat. <laughs> okay, listen, at the very least, at the very least, I can tell you guys why, uh, why doodle slacking is like unreliable. Um, and there's definitely gonna be people, gonna be people in the comments who are like, no, no, you don't get it. Doodle slacking is, is good. No. All right. So here's why. Um, doodle slacking is unviable for a wide variety of reasons. Slacking at hundred base speed isn't that bad, but, uh, Grafia doesn't have reliable speed control beyond scary face. Uh, meaning that Grafii plus Slacking uh, will get outsped and KO'd by like a decent special attacker. And you sort of need either reliable recovery or a clear amulet to make sure you don't lose to Arcanine or any kind of Intimidate or like Icy Wind spam, uh, which sacrifices the ability for you to run Assault Vest, which would fix the issue of like the bad special defense. Uh, beyond that, Golden Go is a thing that's super common, so you can't doodle in the face of Golden Go. Golden Go Murkrow is an extremely common lead. Murkrow is immune to prankster moves, so you can't doodle uh, Murkrow as well. Um, Hydreigon's dark type, uh, so it's immune to that. Uh, it, like there are very few situations where you can doodle reliably, and even in those situations, uh, what you're going to be doing is probably sacrificing a Terra to max out the damage Slacking can do. Busting a hole in the team and then ending up in like a worse position for the end game if they have like a trick room option. So yeah, uh, I don't think this is a good strategy, but I wanted to try it out anyways for a video. So yeah, <laughs> what do we take like four losses, one win? Anyways, consider it educational. Have a nice night. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.